this video, I'm going to go over a little bit about arrays. And so arrays are pretty cool. Arrays are just, well, they're just data types. Arrays are data types. And so what's another example of a data type? Well, a data type could be int, could just be an integer, could be, you know, um, a character. So we just write int, car, char. I mean, both of these here. They're both data types. And so an array is just a, another, it, it's exactly the same. Well, with a bit of a difference. The, the integer and character can hold one value. So if I had, you know, let's say int test, then int test can only hold one value at a time. So if I say int test equals four, and if I say, uh, you know, char, cat equals you know the dollar sign then that's what these values equal so you know cat can't equal dollar sign and four it has to be only one one value one value and same with the integer you know I could change this I could say you know I could I could go again and say you know int test equals three and that would change the value but it still only has one value at a time So an array, an array is a data type where it has multiple values. So arrays have multiple values. And you might be thinking, okay, why do we need to have you know multiple values? I could just have you know int test equals three, and I could just say you know int no other test equals two, and then you're like, okay, well then I have two two values. They're just by different names. Well, you can use arrays, and they get very useful if, say, you have long lists of numbers. Like if you have, you know, uh, data measurements. If you have a thousand data measurements, you're not going to go. You're not going to want to go int data measurement number one, int data measurement number two. You're just going to want to have an array and put all those like five thousand values in it. So the way you declare an array is you just go, if you want it to be a double, or if you want it to be an integer. So if we want an array of only integers, we would just go int. And let's say this is our test array. And the number of values that we want inside, we go like this. We just put them in these square braces here. And we say, let's say we want 10 values. We just go 10. And that would be declaring to the computer that we have a, an array that has 10 values. And if we wanted to declare what those values are, there's two ways that we could do that. One is when we declare this, you know, just as like when you first declare an integer, um, you can go int test array. Ten, and then you go equals, and you use the squirrely braces, and then you just go. Let's say I want the first value to be ten, the second value to be two, third value to be three, and that's all I want to do for now. I mean, I could put ten, but I just want three for now. Then I just I just go int test array, ten possible values equals. You know, this is the first possible value. This is the second value. This is the third value. So. That means that if I said int, or if I just uh, called test array, if I said, uh, you know, let's say I wanted to print whatever test array equaled um, at the second value, then you just go test array, test array, and you're referring to the second one. So let's say I want to refer to two, and that equals, let's say I, I could just print this. I could say printf test array 2 and they would print the second value in here. But one thing to keep in, keep in mind is that the arrays start at 0. So if you have 5, 5 values, then it's really 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And that, that's 5 there, but you don't go up to 5 because you include 0 as a number. So right here, this would be 0, 
this would be 1, and this would be 2. And if I wanted to put the rest in, I could go 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way up to, ten, or up to 9. So that means that if I had test array 2, that means that at that point, it would equal 3, because 2 is referring to the third number. Because we're going 0, 1, 2. So we're going 1, 2, 3, essentially. And that, that means that if I printed this, if I said, you know, printf test array, I'll just write this print. printf test array Wow. Well, you have hold on I probably messed up bear with me for a second printf percentage i comma test array 2 then it would print 3. Okay, so, so let's see what we can do with this in an actual program. So in this program, I wanted to calculate the average value of an array. And so if it has, you know, let's say six values, and they're like, you know, square the braces, let's say 4, 3, 1, 8. Then it's going to add all of these up. It's going to take the sum, and then it's going to divide by six. So in this program, uh, we'll just we'll break this down step by step. So here we're just declaring the libraries, and here this is the function prototype for a function. Here is referring to this function, and that's going to calculate the average. So what it's going to do is it's going to take an input array this input array, and then it's going to take the number of values in that array. Just like here, it's going to take um, the values, it's going to take all of these values in here, and then it's also going to take in the number of values, those are six values, and then it's going to calculate the average. So here we create the double, this is the array, so right here is the array. We're declaring that the array exists, this is the same as like saying you know, int cat. We're just saying it exists. And then, since we've declared the the um, the values, it'd be like saying, um, it'd be like really saying int cat, you know, equals three. Except in this case, we're using an array. So what we have is the first one. Now remember, there's there's five. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five numbers. So that means that it's going to be at zero. 1, 2, 3, 4, and it's going to stop at 4. And that's going to be the 5 values. So if we wanted to print 50, you would go values, and you'd, you'd, go, you'd go values 0, and that would refer to 50. If I wanted to change it, I could go values 0 equals 20, and then it would no longer equal 50, it would equal 20. So size here refers to how many va uh, values are in this array. And then this, this will be the computed average later. So what I'm going to do here, you know, we take the libraries, go down, we, we make the array. It's going to call a function which computes the average. So then it's going to go here. It's going to say, OK, now we need to compute the average. So we go down. Whoops. It's going to go down, and it's going to start here. It's going to complete these actions. So what it's doing is it's saying we need the uh, array input and the array size. So this is the values. That's referring to the array values here. And then it's referring to the size. That's how many um, values are in the array. So it's going to take this. is going to be referred to as input. And then the size is going to be referred to as in array size. So what we have here is we have... Uh, for loop. And so for loop is like a shorthand way of saying uh, a while loop. It's pretty much the, the same. I mean, it's just easier to do a for loop. So what int i does is int i starts at 0, which is what the array starts at, right? So because the array goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, it's going to start at 0. 
and it's saying while i is less than the array size and the array size was five it's going to complete this and then i is going to increase by one so what's going to happen is the first time this goes through i equals zero and then the sum because we have a double sum the sum is going to equal the input of i so this time it's going to be okay so sum equals sum plus the input of i and remember i starts at zero so it's going to it's going to say okay so we need to take the input of zero and add that to sum and then okay so it's going to be yeah i'm just going to erase this so again it starts at zero so that means that since i equals zero it's going to be referring to the array of zero and that means this here this 50 is 0 so it's going to be saying you know it's basically going to say sum equals sum plus 50 and then when it completes this loop i gets increased by 1 so then it's going to be the sum which equals 50 right now it's going to say sum equals sum plus input it's going to say input of 1 and that's just going to refer to the next ver um, value of the array which is 1 in this case equals 7.6 so it's going to equal sum equals sum plus 7.6 and so that means that 50 plus 7.6 we're going to end up with 57.6 and it's going to complete that until i is no longer less than 5 which is the array size. So basically we're just going to add up all of these values, you know, 50 plus 7.6 plus 54.0 plus 65 plus 7 and that that'll be what sum equals. Sum will equal all of these values in the array. And then it's going to return it's going to say okay, since we said, you know, computed average equals, you know, what values and sign, you know, what that function does to it. It's going to say this number here, sum divided by the r, um, the array size. Remember, let's say we had, um, let's say we had 57.6. Since we've added two, it'd be 57.6 divided by two, and that will give us our average. But in this case, we're using five, and we're dividing by five. So we're going to take the sum, divide it by the array size which is 5 so it's going to be sum divided by 5 and that is what is going to equal computed average and then this program is going to go and say okay the average is and then it's just saying float or um, just double and then it's going to say that that is computed average so it's just going to it's going to take the average by calling this function and then that's what computed average is going to equal and then it's going to print what computed average equals. And that's all this program is going to do. So I'm just going to I'm just going to clear this. Clear. Whoops. Did not want that to happen. I'm going to unclear it. Okay, so just just one more time to run quickly through this. We have an array which has multiple values. So if the array is 4, then that means it has four values and that's going from 0, 1, 2, and 3 and if we wanted to refer to say the third value or the actually in it, this is the fourth value right 1, 2, 3, 4 then if we wanted to you know print the fourth value we just go you know print f just go array 3 and so that will print the fourth value of the array we could print the third value we could print any value um, but but 
that is an interact. So these these are one dimensional arrays because they're in a line. You know, a line is one dimension. It's essentially like having you know numbers in a list. Um, yeah. So uh, again, it's just a, it's just the data type it has multiple values, and that's it. That that is just kind of the the introduction to arrays and how to use them in a function.